WhatsApp is a truly incredible messaging application. But the sad thing is that 99% of the people who use it probably don't even take advantage of half of its functionality. And this video aims to change just that. So one thing you probably have heard of is WhatsApp Web. Simply tapping the little menu button at the top and clicking WhatsApp Web on your smartphone enables you to scan a QR code on your laptop and then set up the WhatsApp application on your Mac or PC. And that's all well and good. It works quickly, it's faster to type on an actual keyboard, and it syncs almost instantaneously with your smartphone. And this synchronization, whilst useful in its own right, actually creates the opportunity for an even more useful tool. So what you need to do is to add your own contact using your own number in your smartphone. You'll then be able to message yourself on WhatsApp, and what this means is that if you ever want to transfer a file between your phone and your laptop, simply send it through WhatsApp. Message yourself on WhatsApp and almost instantaneously it'll appear on the other side, so it saves you the faff of having to plug in your smartphone and transfer it manually. So for almost all of us, you're going to have a few people who you talk to a lot, and most of the people who you don't. So for these few people, you can add a chat shortcut. What this does is creates an icon, a bit like a sub application on your home screen, and then in terms of customization, you can treat this as a standalone app. You can move it around, you can rearrange it, you can even change the icon to anything else you want. And of course, as a progression of that, you can add all your favorite contacts as little icons. You could put them all together into one folder, for example, and call it your favorites. So WhatsApp also gives you the option to start a message. And essentially, this is the equivalent of placing a little bookmark in your conversation. All you do is hold down on something relevant that someone said and tap the star button above. And then if you ever want to refer back to it, hit the menu icon from your main menu and click start messages. And from here, you can see all of them from all your different contacts. Just as an example, you could use this to remember all the things that you need to get done. And if you ever click on one of those stars there, it'll take you back into that point in the conversation to give you some context. So then we have a little application which I have featured in the past, so I won't spend too much time on it, but it's highly relevant here. This is called Text Converter. It's a fun way of basically sending a message in an alternative format. You can dress it up in a pattern, you can change the style of the text, lots of little fun things you can do which really spice up the conversation. You simply type the message you want to send into the app, and then just by tapping on one of the variations of it, it'll automatically copy that to your clipboard. And there are so many options here, everything from reverse upside down text to Morse code. So I think we can all share the pain of trying to get something organized while working in a group chat. And the answer to this is in a broadcast. And what this allows you to do is to send the kind of message you would be sending to a group, but instead each party actually receives it as if it were a direct message. So the people you've contacted are going to feel like they've been individually messaged, and therefore they're probably more likely to respond, and probably less likely to start some off-the-topic conversation. So then we've got a plugin called Send Any File. It's an attachment that essentially extends the functionality of WhatsApp, and to be honest, considering its name, it shouldn't need too much explaining. So whilst WhatsApp does support a lot of file types, there are also quite a few which it doesn't support, and it also applies quite heavy compression on a lot of high quality photos and videos. And the idea of this extension is that it bypasses that. You could send as high a resolution a photo as you want, or you could send your entire movie library. It might take a little bit of time, but in the end, the end product they receive will be of full quality. And so again, something I've featured somewhere in the past, this is direct chat, and it's particularly useful for WhatsApp. So the same bubbles you see on Facebook Messenger can also be enabled for other applications such as WhatsApp. And this just gives you a little bit more freedom to use full screen apps at the same time as carrying on a conversation. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope it made you realize that WhatsApp is actually a pretty cool little thing. Anyway guys, I've got tons more videos like this, be sure to check them out. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.